The admin tool customizes your space. Its first section manages your subscription. If this is a private space, the option lets you make it public. If public, the option lets you upgrade to a private subscription or add it to your private package to restrict public access and enable private features. The second section configures and installs tools. Click on it to add new tools or to remove the ones you have. The section also links to individual tools settings pages, which you can access from the tools themselves as well. The third section manages security. Choose team members and non-team members access levels, where they can view and or edit the space. To customize further, click More or Security. Here, assign each tool its own security level, for instance, allowing anyone to edit your wiki, but letting only team members even view tickets. You can also widen access by letting people join the space without invitation, or you can restrict access by specifying which IP addresses can access space tools. The fourth section adds your space to a portfolio. You can also manage this from the portfolio's parent space. The fifth section customizes several aspects of your space's appearance. Here, edit its name, URL, and description, and add tags so people can find it. Reorder tools and choose which tool users first see when they open the space. Choose your space's style, which you can customize using CSS tags. Display on all pages a banner image or banner text that links to your website. Finally, choose whether to display a button that copies your space to make a template for future spaces. The tool's sixth and final section backs up your space. Stats on top tell you how much space you're now using, and below you can request a backup for the full space in JSON. Professional spaces also here can back up your space to your Amazon S3 account.